Welcome to Shivering Timbers Dojo. Tonight we're going to start with uh, Kempo Orange Belt. Uh, once again, we're going to do Pushing Circle A and B, and we're going to do Rising Elbow. Now, uh, we already saw Rising Elbow in Yellow Belt. Essentially, it was a slap hammer grab. It was a quick, or, uh, and then up to an elbow. It was, it was very quick, very uh, straightforward striking series. Uh, now we're going to add the throw and the unbalancing into that. Uh, good point to Orange Belt. You'll see some other things that we already did in Yellow Belt. Uh, kimono grab it. Later on, we'll also see it in Orange Belt. Um, the other thing, uh, pushing the circle uh, from wrist grabs, we're going to do the Kempo version of what to do when they grab your wrist. Uh, in each case, we're going to use our body pushing forward into that to unbalance. Uh, in both cases, more strike than grappling because this is Kempo. Uh, but I like these especially because you can really do these at full speed if you want to and not worry about hurting your uke when you do practices. So we're going to start with pushing the circle A and B. This is Kempo Orange Belt pushing the circle A. So the first one, uh, she grips my wrist across and pulls me towards her. There we go. The whole reason this works, the whole reason we are doing this, there's, there's other wrist grab defenses uh, we see in purple belt. Uh, but pushing the circle specifically is because they're pulling you. And very few people ever grab you and just stand here anyway. So this is a good chance for us to practice. Uh, if somebody's going to grab you, they're going to get you off on me. Come here, you. And so that's what we're doing here. So pushing the circle A, she grabs me, she pulls me towards her. As I do, I step forward. Again. Boom, I get that little hop in. I circle around, circle up. Bam, hit right there, and out. Let's try the other side. All right, circle in, up, and right there. All right, all that circling looks a little much. So we're here. They're not gonna let go until about here. They can't, and at this point, if you look, who's got who? Out of the way, and in for that elbow strike. Same thing. As we pull here, grab on. Don't let go. Doesn't matter because as they come here, I have literally reversed who's got who. You could grab in here, but really it's just easier to throw it up and hit him. If you're saying, and I can hear the internet right now telling me, oh my goodness, what if they bend their hand and move to the side? Okay, that's a good example of what we can do. If their elbow isn't up and out of the way, Get in there. So she's pulling. And I'm going with. She's let go already. She's trying to get away. If they've already let go and are trying to get away, you've won. The idea is she's pulling me at her. And she wants not to let go. She wants to control me. She wants to hold on. So that's why I'm shooting through all the way. And get it out of the way there. All right. Now... Real easy for a big guy to do it to a little guy. <laughs> yeah, Indy. All right, so let's let you try. All right, so I want, I'm going to hold on to this thing. I'm going to pull you at me, shoot through, and make that work. You got it? All right. What? Oh, right in the kidney. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Pull you at me. All right, I'll do it again. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull you this time. I'm going to pull you. Ah, and that's the thing. I have all this power, right? I can pull her off balance real easy. <laughs> so by going with me, she basically threw off what I, I... Because when I pull, I expect her to pull back and say, No, no, Mr. Man, don't grab me. You know? So when I pull her at me... Oh, Fred. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's not about power. It's about getting past them doesn't matter how strong my grip is. I can't hold back here. And she's done back there. So you notice she got a little further, and she wasn't hitting me prettily in the sides and the ribs. She got past me and hit me. Kidneys. Great, do something. Don't care. <laughs> Am I grabbing you anymore? Good job. All right. Pushing the circle B. Now we're straight on. Actually, here, let's do this one first. Okay, again, she's still pulling me. So if I shoot in, I can't really grab around. 
But what I can do is I can come up here, hit, 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 just like that. Pull into there, hit, hit, just like that. Again, pull in, stretch that out, slam, slam, just like that. So again, as she pulls, I come in to stretch that arm out. This is not a matter of I'm having to fight to pull her arm to me. She's pulling. So I say, okay, I'm using my entire body right here. Slam to the groin as they double over, because anybody, when you hit the groin, is going to come down. Get them right there. So again, as they come in, she pulls. I'm coming right in here. Boom, boom, just like that. All right. Again, big guy, small decay. Let's switch it up. I'm going to pull you to me. Yeah, this side. So she comes in. I can't hold on to that. <laughs> now, you don't have to throw the elbow, remember, if my arm's in the way. You can just go straight to there. Let's try it again. <laughs> oh, 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 there you go. What if you get an elbow in? Well, here, grab me real quick. If I can, I want to get my elbow on their elbow. I like that. What if it doesn't work? That's okay. <laughs> Oh, slam, ow, ow. <laughs> I don't like that. Let's do it again. I'm going to pull you. I'm going to hold on and not let go. Use your body weight. You got it? All right, come here. Ugh. Yeah, that's, I'm not letting go because I want to. <laughs> letting go because your body's slamming and you're going to have to. Come on. Ow. <laughs> there you go. Good job. It's a matter of leverage. It's a matter of using your entire body versus one joint and... And when she grabs, that one joint is right here and it's weak. Just like that. All right? Pushing the circle A and B. Thank you. This is Kempo Orange Belt Rising Elbow 2 for the Orange Belt. Rising Elbow is from uh, Bear Hug from Behind. I have a small UK. Okay, Let's pretend she's big. So, she grabs me. Oh no, she's huge. All right. If somebody grabs you in a bear hug, they're not looking to make friends. They're looking to say, come on, here we go. <laughs> All right, there. All right. That or, or even more dangerous, they're looking to pick you up and body slam you. You know, ye old suplex is a bad way to end any day. So, if you don't want to, you know, play lawn dart with your head against the pavement, you've got to get your body weight out and down immediately. It doesn't matter if they're trying to pick you up or throw you or even just run you forward into something. Uh, bear hugs are what we practice from what's going to be emotion. There's going to be motion. They're going to be doing something very violent to you. So get your body out. Get your hip out. Get your body weight down so they can't grip you. And then the old slap, hammer, grab. Now, we're going to add to this. Slap, hammer, as I'm grabbing. You see, I moved my feet to the side. I stepped here. Now I'm behind. Instead of coming straight up for that elbow, I rise up to the elbow. Strike right there. So, other side. Here, let's do it from here. Slap, hammer, grab, up. Again. Boom, I'm going to let it off. Now grip me. See if they, you're like, well, what if they do grip you? Don't let go. That's cool because now it's even easier. She's not letting go. Now I have, boom. Yeah. <laughs> so it sort of makes it tough on them. Let's talk about that slap hammer grab real quick. We're going to reevaluate this. So when they grab you and you go to the slap, why slap? Okay. As anybody with a pair of testicles can tell you, if you hit it really hard, it's going to hurt. Um, is a groin shot a fight in here? No. And everybody gets all upset. Why are you hitting the groin? It's not going to end the fight. I don't need it to end the fight. I need it to catch their attention. And this will hurt. It will get their attention. But it may take a few minutes for that pain to really kick in. Adrenaline. 
funny thing, if you slap it, just a slap, that hurts immediately. Um, try it out. See if I'm not right. All I can tell you is, <laughs> have some ice cream. Um, that slap, it hurts immediately. It, it gets their attention. It, it focuses their attention away from trying to throw you onto, I've got to protect the boys. And then, what if you, what if, why hit all three times? Bam, bam, grab. You know, what if you just do one? Fine, just do one. If you know how to do all three, if you know how to slap, you know how to hammer, and you know how to grab, if you can get all three, great. If you can only get one, great. Doesn't matter, do something. Yes? So, as I come through here, I step to the side, slap, hammer, grab. I step to the side here, I elbow up. I'm trying to get that chin, and then, bam, right to there. Obviously, let your point fall and go for it. All right. You ready for big B small? Oh, yeah. I'm going to try and pick you up. I want your hips to the side. Don't let me. You got this? You got this. <clears throat> Slap, hammer, grab. Boom! There you go. Good. Ready? Same thing. <clears throat> Slap, hammer, go! Was ugly, wasn't it? Was that pretty? No, doesn't have to be. Especially if it, as big as I am versus you, it's going to be ugly. That's fine. Let's do it pretty just to show you can be pretty. <laughs> All right. She steps aside. Bam, bam, bam. <coughs> Good. All right. Point is, is turn around. I'm show it from this way. I'm going to pick you up. Don't let me. Don't let me by getting your hip to that side just like you did. Okay? Yep. <laughs> so I can physically lift you up without much effort, but you got to make the cost <laughs> not worth it to me. Yes. You lose your kneecaps. Lose my kneecaps. Kick me in the groin. Headbutt me in the face again. And always get that weight down. Get your arms out because the minute I grab you, your arms should be coming out. Yeah, it's really hard to grab that. Now, can you have eyes in the back of your head? We cannot. We can only do the best we can. So, when they grip that, you just have to be able to react fast and get that arm out and hip out. And look, here it is. While you've got their attention, that's when you're moving your foot to right there. Rising elbow from the orange belt. All right, so that was... Kimpo orange belt. We revisited rising elbow. We turned it into even more of a technique. Once we get past the uh, strikes, where the strikes don't work well, we're turning it into a throw. We're getting behind them, unbalancing, using more strikes there. Um, put it all together. It's pretty solid. Uh, again, pushing the circle. Really like that one because you're basically overbalancing your opponent, uh, and we are really visiting the concept of very few people grab you in a static environment. They're pushing you, they're pulling you, they're punching you, they're, they're grabbing you to move you. So in this one specifically, they're grabbing you to pull you and you are going to do what they don't expect and go with it to throw them off balance and get your shots in. So practice these. Uh, both of these are pretty good to practice with resistance. Uh, absolutely practice that uh, picking your opponent up with resistance. Just be careful once you work on the groin strikes. And again, also practice pulling your uh, friends off balance while they work on the the shooting in, again, easy with the elbow strikes, they hurt. All right, other than that, uh, if you still don't like this, and you're like, ah, this doesn't work, cool. Uh, come to class, show us why. Other than that, stay safe. Thanks.